Make All right. sure you don't get lost here on these turns. Where am I? So you're here. This oh, is where God. you're entering. And cemetery is right there. You're going to have to go down literally every path anyway in the game, so it doesn't really make much of a difference. You're still right on the approach. You're not even in the right woods here? yet. Yeah, you're not okay. even in the woods yet. I'm just yet. wondering. So I'll take that. It's another wood plank for yourself. You better be careful. Yeah. So we got a dirty fork in the road. There's no fork. Is this where the forest starts now? Yeah. No, yeah okay. no, this is like the forest in Paper Mario. Tree, so you're right by the fallen tree there. Nice blue Grab tree. it. Eat it. Eat it for supper. <laughs> Leave it as a sacrifice. And there's a yellow ribbon right there. So you're up there. You're actually doing not too bad. Doing pretty good here. Oh. Took a wrong turn him. somewhere. I'm right here. <laughs> that the yellow bird, bird specifically never he'll leaves. He'll be this there, tree. yeah, he'll be there the entire time. I think he just left. Now you're by the tree stump. Yep. Left and then onward. Put that back. <laughs> just get on a board to clobber some fuckers <laughs> in the woods. There you go, you found yeah. your way to the cemetery. Huh? It's a clue. So that's Malone's grave. But Blue's clues. Board it up. So he got fresh paw prints on his mausoleum or whatever. It's a board. Okay, so now you got three boards. And you can look at some of the gravestones. I can't, yeah. apparently. I'll turn around. Facing the backs of them all. Oh. Marbles. Marbles. We lost it's like marbles? a pet cemetery almost. Oh. Stench? Ass. Ass royal. Ass a royal stench. Oh, yeah, it's a joke. Oh. That's a royal stench. Mm. So there's his dogs Vetus, Xander, and then the other side is Lucy, maybe. So they were all born in like 1920 ish, and they all died around the They all died at the, on the same day? Did they? I don't think so. Same day. Same day. Uh, I guess so. That's kind of weird. I don't know if they ever explained that. It's Snooki. probably just the day they ran away. Snooky the dog before Snooky the person became a thing. Yes. How do we know Snooky the dog and Snooky the person aren't the same? Could be. Waldo, Waldo Matthias. I found him. I found Waldo. Goodness. Goodness gracious. Oh my pearl goodness. I don't know. I don't know if that's... That was a person. Yeah. Hiff and path. Cedric, Cedric Cosmo Cranky. He was born in 1813. Okay, so if Mickey Malone was the guy who built this house in, like, 1920, why the hell are there gravestones that date to, like, 1887 out here? No one knows. Can you tell me? Cannot. That makes no sense. Hanger, Unless the right. house existed before he did, but I thought I was under the impression that he built it. But he didn't. Because, like, it's custom made Pictures. for him, so this makes no sense. It's too early for plot Why holes. would they stick a cemetery way out in the middle of the woods where nothing is? There's yeah. a cemetery. Hey, was that a shed? No, there's no shed in the woods. I saw a shed. Gotta stay hydrated with that water bottle. Yeah, I gotta keep it on me. Yellow ribbon. Right. Left. And then straight on to the right. Pivox. Personal data assistant. Right. Back when PDAs are still a thing. Left. I don't even remember PDAs, do you? Yeah, I had one. You this actually did? This is a dead end. 
crap. We reached the log. There's a fallen tree. So oh, you just took another wrong turn there. No, I think you hit it back. I believe I believe you're right here. Oh yeah, this is where I get into my house, isn't it? There we go. Yeah, there you go. You successfully navigated the woods. Good job. I gained nothing from that. Well, you got bored from it. You're gonna oh, have to right. wander your way back out there. I don't know. The sooner you know your way around the woods, the better, I guess. Lay those boards, Nancy. Lay the boards. Ah. So you don't die. Oh yeah. What there a carpenter. So now you're not gonna die if what you What a master over that craftsman. Wall. Take that down now. I repaired them. Just leave it like that. Can't take it down. No. Let's just break the whole place. Pieces. Okay, so let's go see what Red Knot has to offer. Why would a bird watcher only be active at night? Well, he, he isn't. I think like it's under the implication that he's out hunting for birds the during the daytime. So I won't need my but it, it's light. just, it's really suspicious that you never see him anywhere. Ever. Ridiculous. It's pretty dumb. It's a rock. He's living in a treehouse? Yeah, just keep following it and climb right up that. I have a hard time believing that Red Knot would climb this on a consistent basis. He doesn't look like he's up for it, does he? He doesn't. Well, it's Miss Nancy Drew. Why did you come to my house? Please, if you just have call this me roof? Master. Please, just call me Nancy. I will if you keep your voice down. Oh, I just heard a cerulean warbler. Well, thank God. I just turned my chin and slapped me together. Something they're gonna be with you around. You didn't come up here to chit chat, did you? I did. Make yourself of use and give me something. Do you Spark know much plug. about outboard motors? Sure do. Only type of motorized vehicle that's allowed on. What about the segways? Heck, if it were up to me, segways aren't allowed on Moon Lake because <laughs> you would just go underwater. <laughs> you can't ride them around the trails. That'd be rough as shit. Bumping into every like rock tourists? and root in the ground. I came to see birds, oh, not people. He's not a people the person. People there are in a forest, see that. The fewer birds there are. It's a fact of life. The reason I like to come here is because nobody else does. It's perfect. Not a decent grocery store, restaurant, or motel. That's rude. <laughs> They're here. They're just not decent. <laughs> There's no place nearby that sells boat parts? Sally's outboard is missing a spark Why would it be plug? missing a spark plug in the first place? She didn't oh, check this? Has she never used her boat? Somebody she must have here? just stole it. I guess. Kids. Damn kids these days. <laughs> he didn't answer the question at all. He didn't say how he would help me at all. He's just like, yeah. I might be able to help you, you out. You See again, implying plug. stuff. I might be able to help you well, out. <laughs> just so happens I've got two spark plugs right here in my what? Plug. <laughs> the is, if I one, what do I get, what do I get for? I don't need cash. I don't need cash. I hope you realize what I'm getting at here. How about a nail in the head? Sure, what would you... Sure, what would you like me to take pictures of? <laughs> my ass. Of course. <laughs> I need to do a nude photo shoot for the next. Oh, don't tell me I have to go take pictures of those birds in the forest. God damn it! You can recognize them by their songs, which are on this tape, which you can play on my cassette player. Oh no! You have to get from M's Emporium as soon as you get your boat fixed. Think you can handle it? I know I can. Here's everything you need. Why'd you give me? Oh, is this what a digital camera used to look like? Yeah, we used to have one that looked like that. Not that I'm trying to get you out of my hair or anything, but try not to come pestering me till you're done, okay? Just shove him off this one thing. thing. You smoke? Uh, only when I'm on fire. <laughs> oh, you're a spunky one. <laughs> Good pointing at me. It's throwing These me off. Woods may not look it, but they're tinder dry. One lit match, and the best bird habitat on the east coast will go up in smoke. So watch what you do, because if anything like that happens, I won't be looking for birds anymore. I'll be looking for you. What if I watch fart, light up. my fart, on fire with a lighter, and burn down the place? Says the guy with a gas lantern sitting there. So you got your spark plug. <laughs> down. Whoa. 
This is actually a pretty kind of nice place, though. This cabin, if you actually owned it, it'd be sweet. It's so only... safe to take the boat out at night. Gotta change it back today. So you spent a whole, like, day, two days on this little island of yours without getting much accomplished. I bet you the mosquitoes would just be horrible here. Probably. It's music. The black flies. It's pretty cheery, and then at night it's just, like, depressing and scary. I didn't see the dogs last night. Yeah, they only show up that one time. There you go. Yeah! And now you gotta... Plus, zero, minus, plus. I gotta have some torque. I, I think gotta that's in the right position. Torque. How can you tell? Which one's zero and minus? We'll take a guess. Plus, zero, and minus. And there's three gauges, so what do you think is what? Hmm. Touche. Let me see that one more time. Okay. Gotta have some torque. Okay, just take it out and use it. Not That's a pen. Have some torque. Quit saying torque. Why is it so needlessly complicated? Uh, it's not that complicated. I, I know. think you got it right now. But like, why do the screws have to be in a certain location to start the thing? Just back out. Yeah, she'll close it automatically. There, now just rip that. Rip her up. Start this thing up. It teleports out. There you go. Nice. So here's Sally McDonald's home. You need to go to the ranger station or Emson Ford. Does she have a boating license? And those are her three, probably not. I don't oh. know, do you need a boating license in the States? I don't know, to probably. I would imagine I would imagine so. you probably would. You do here, anyway. Yeah. And it's called Moon Lake because it looks like a crescent moon, if you didn't get that. Oh. Ah, look what they call it crescent lake. Looks more like a crest than a moon. Wow. Oh, is this him? Is this the ranger? Unfortunately, no. I knew he was a skunk. <laughs> the Weasley guy. Ah, uh, oh, yes, learning. All your information. You actually don't need any of this. Mallard. You, you know who? Would, you know who would love this? Mm. That piece of crap that sits up in a treehouse yeah, at night. Yeah. Pretty much. This is all just for your information. I don't think you actually need any of this. <laughs> Children do not hike without supervision. Don't walk without supervision. Hey, kids. Check out Moon Lake's nature highlights. Sunglasses sun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the sun wears sunglasses out here on <laughs> Moon Lake. Because <laughs> it's so hot. <laughs> ah, there's wood. I could use that to build my cabin. That's a pretty damn nice fireplace <laughs> out here. Does anybody work or live here? I probably shouldn't mess around with this without Ranger Acres' permission. Ranger Acres. And then there's a computer database if you can look some stuff up about certain things. Uh, you can look up well water. Too far from major cities for citizens to tap into public water supply. Everyone living in the area must rely on private wells for water they use. Nowadays, wells are located, constructed according to requirements, set down by Pennsylvania, but a well does not last forever. Sooner or later, wells begin to lose their ability to keep out contaminants. For this reason, a well should be inspected every few years, and this water should be tested at least once a year. Water can be contaminated by chemicals such as pesticides, fertilizers, naturally occurring elements such as arsenic and lead, and by waste-borne microbes. Arsenic doesn't strike diseases. me as something natural. It does exist in nature, I guess. Hepatitis, giardiasis. Get the hap. The asses, the hap. And crypto something. I don't know. You may look and smell fine. Uh, well, water's... Rotten no eggs. money. Smells like rotten eggs. This may come from underwater gas lines that have leaked into your well water. If your well is more than 20 years old, has not been used or tested for more than a year, or there is a sudden change, you immediately stop drinking the water, disconnect the plumbing system, then get a water testing kit from the friendly, ever-helpful ever park ranger behind you, and take a sample behind of the me. well, uh, and send it to the address. When working with water systems, large or small, always remember, I don't know. Poisonous plants, fire... You should, I don't think you need to know about any of this other stuff. Ah, cysts. Cysts? I had to but learn you do need to know about I had to learn about that in microbiology. Priming and hand of virus. And Lyme disease. 
God, I should have just played this Shallow instead pumps, of studying. which can lift water maximum of 25 feet at sea level. Operate on the principal as a drinking straw. Action, yeah, out of the pump. When a pump seems to stop working, that is, when it fails to suck any water up and under the spout, no matter how much the handle is pumped, it probably needs to be primed. To prime a pump, simply pour portable, drinkable water into the top of it and pump the handle until water flows from the spout. Uh -huh. It's a good idea to fill a container with water right away and keep it nearby so you'll have water the next time the pump needs priming. Okay, so, yeah. Since yours isn't working, just pour fresh water into it and it should work. Correct. <laughs> you don't need to look at the nature. Is there is show. there birds? I could just take pictures of these yeah, birds. Yeah, no, unfortunately you can't. <laughs> like, just impressive. Jeez. It's like, why are these yeah, pictures yeah. so grainy? Why are these pictures so amazing? Professional man? and grainy. Oh, yeah. Can I break into this? A bunch of artifacts from the 1920s. From the Mayan ruins? Yes. There's Ranger Jeff. I thought you were a skunk. Hello, can I help you? No. He seems like a cheery guy. He's not. He is because he's given out tickets. To Hi, my everybody. name's Nancy Drew. Everybody involved. I'm visiting Sally McDonald. Are you the park ranger? Park ranger Jeff Akers, at your service. Let's see. Sally McDonald <laughs> is the woman who bought the old Malone place. Sally McDonald is the woman that I fucked last That's night. Right. <laughs> She's it's like, what? I was there. Malone's I fell through the floorboards myself. Don't yeah. tell me she believes all that ghost dog stuff. Do you know the legend? I saw them myself. <laughs> Whatever's out there, I'm sure they're no more and no less than exactly what they look and sound like. Like dogs, dogs. with glowing eyes? Living, breathing, very noisy dogs. We'll do something about oh, it. Oh, yes. Lead, yeah. Lead them somewhere There's else. There's wild dogs running around here. Shouldn't you do you your job? Like, yeah, they're Rottweilers. They're going to, like, attack somebody. Any idea what would make a dog's eyes glow yellow? Weren't they glowing green, Something not yellow? Yeah, they were green. Maybe? Something so in their diet, he says. Perfect. Glowing, glowing <laughs> eyes? Oh, it must have been something they ate. Like those, those bad carrots. Like neon. I don't know. Something in the well, ranger. maybe. You want to know for <laughs> a water supply. Yeah, exactly. Shouldn't you be doing your job you here? Always ask this many questions. Shouldn't you be doing your job here, Jeff? <laughs> Shouldn't you get your ass in gear to that house at night and help me out? <laughs> As a matter of fact, I do. I'm a very busy man, Miss Drew, but... Hey, you look it. I am here to serve the public. Good for you. Do you see anyone else standing here? He recognizes that the customer is always right. Do you Come have fix my well formula, you're at it, you bum hole. <laughs> sure do. Simple to use, too. <laughs> he just <laughs> flips you off. <laughs> do you, do you get flip sure me you off? Simple to use, too. It only just flips two, you off and tells you to get out. Your water's fit to drink. <laughs> just take that middle finger and just raise it up in the air. Wells. Does everyone out here have a well? I know how often they go back. Everyone who doesn't want to die of thirst does. Looking up to a Thanks for that. Thanks for that little sarcastic comment. Too expensive. Out of the question. Can I hook up directly to the lake? This place isn't exactly <laughs> your ordinary <laughs> station, got no water, we just got a lake. lake post office, yeah. And it's the unofficial Moon Lake Museum of Factual and Natural History. Factual. I've lived here all my I love life, factual so I history. That's my favorite. Protect not only the area's flora and fauna, but also its past. Ah. So you know all about Mickey Malone? As a member of the law enforcement community, I prefer to dwell on the positive aspects of history instead of on the activities of a bunch of glorified thugs. It makes this place a tourist S trap. So yep. you'd probably like to see the old Malone place torn down and forgotten. Not necessarily. It's hard to ignore its potential as a tourist attraction. And if that's what it takes to draw more people to Moon Lake, hmm. I'm a reasonable man. He's you want to leave? Man. Why does he want to draw people here if he wants to leave? As an officer of the Be law, because the if there's more people on Moon Lake, then he gets an assistant. And he the can the boss him around? Yeah. yeah. Terrific. I can't prove it, but I'm pretty sure she's been dragging the lake in front of Malone's house for artifacts, which is illegal. <laughs> it would be a lot easier for her to do her dirty work if nobody was living there. So we think she's dragging the lake for old shit on the bottom. What do you know about the cemetery behind the Malone house? People are buried there. <laughs> Beyond that, 
What's to know? Is that the cemetery? Yeah, that's the cemetery. Well, that's very insightful of you. Is Malone yes. buried there? That's the rumor. No, there's a, a thing. Waldo the Mathias. The inscription on one of the tombstones reads Waldo Mathias. There was also a description yeah. that said, what was it? Add a rotten stench or something like, something like that? Does that, that ring any bells? Would it be okay if I looked yeah. around? Seymour Butts was buried there. <laughs> any information on him? <laughs> Just ask. Would you mind mailing this letter for me? Not at all. And then you see him throw it in the trash as he leaves the building. Doesn't, doesn't even wait for you to leave. Yeah. He just takes it out of your hand and just throws it straight in the trash. Thanks for all you do. Whips out a, a lighter, problem. just burns yeah, it in, burns front, of in front of you. Throws, throws the, the ambers at you. Has boomed this year. So please take precautions if you're cleaning out any area where they may have nested. They can carry some nasty... Oh, get some good old antivirus. <laughs> Didn't you have to clean out shit yeah, from the golf course? Mouse crap. Oh god. Okay, so nothing like nothing says summer vacation like Ebola related diseases. Indeed. Rip that cord again. Ripper. Whoa. So you can go uh, into your living room. Go visit M and see what she's about. Auntie M? Mm -hmm. From with the Wizard of Oz? Sure. I thought he was flying across the sky. <laughs> the boat is flying. It's flying through Whoa. the clouds. This is a okay, is it just shop. me or does this thing look like it's gonna fall apart at any second? That does not look so structurally sound at all. It's a pretty rough looking unit. Hey there! Whoa! Emporium. I'm Emily what Griffin. shovel hit her in the face? <laughs> a bad one. <laughs> a big one. So I gave her too many hits with a an big ugly metal stick. One. <laughs> My name's Nancy Drew. I'm staying out at the old Malone place. You know, the house Sally McDonald bought. I'd like now to rent a video. Even though there's no electricity at my house dump. except for that old dump. We got lights. So we got there's lights. There's obviously electricity somewhere. Touche. That's, they've got that going for she's them. She's got a little problem she's hoping I can solve. But I want to see now, if that's Rick Arlen. A chainsaw? A chainsaw? <laughs> Rick Arlen in disguise. Does she not know what a chainsaw is? She's just a little confused that you need a chainsaw for something. Oh, okay. But I think she's going to cut down the house. <laughs> I'm trying to murder the dogs that come outside my house. <laughs> <laughs> I need a chainsaw. I gotta warn you, though. Tucker tends to do things in his own sweet time. So how come Sally ain't with you? Because she's a piece and ran off. She flaked. I told her. I said, Sally, that old house is going to be nothing but trouble. And sure enough, Malone's hounds have come back. Just when we Ooh. all thought they were finally resting in peace. Resting in peace. She did it. <laughs> okay. Have you ever seen I don't dogs? even know what she did, but nope. she did it. Don't want to, neither. Just hearing them howls bad enough. Scares the bejeebies out of me. Uh, what kind of accent is that? Uh, that sounds like New Orleans almost. It doesn't though. I like, can't even southern. like. It sounds. It doesn't even sound southern. Like, it sounds like a mix between southern and I don't even know. It's somebody pretending to be southern. I guess. What can you tell me about this old man who always prowls my cabin at night? Got a strange man a strange prowling man around, man last night. around last night. Get him arrested. He called himself Red Knot, the bird watcher. Comes in <laughs> yeah, he's so watching birds from <laughs> up there. Birds. You know how them. Hey, I can see that birdhouse from my window. Weird. Birds. <laughs> it looks directly into my bedroom window. Birds. It seemed to me that he was more into watching birds than hugging trees. Yeah, well, whatever. Is that <laughs> line necessary? He's gonna wind up with a dose <laughs> sure. of buckshot in his hind end if he keeps tramping through people's yards making noises like he just popped out of a UFO. So you're giving me permission to shoot him? Yes, is what I'm I like gathering. it. I like it, indeed. Mr. Knott did me a favor, and in return he asked me to pick up a cassette player from you. Oh, yeah, I got it right here. Thought maybe the old coot had forgotten he left it here. Give it to me. Why would he leave this here? Give it. Click on her thumb. Oh, okay. Or play. What else can I do you for? These so-called ghost dogs left very real paw prints. I saw some near the cemetery that's by the Malone house. Have you ever been there? I don't know there? how long they've been there for. <laughs> Can't say as I have. Poking around cemetery. We still haven't reached exactly blinking levels play. yet. Not yet. We'll get there eventually. It's very important. Still, they don't move too. That'll be the milestone. Does That'll be when we know the game's the reached Why the next level. Why is she level. asking so many questions about Waldo Can't Mathias? Is he important? Ah, uh, he comes in later. <laughs> in the game, Waldo guess. Mathias. Bless you. It's all the dust. 
Sometimes I think it grows on this stuff. Some of those old bottles are oh. beautiful. Where'd Don't ask that question. Found them. Found them in my bum. Back in the days of Prohibition, that old Malone place used to be Party Central. Only way to get to and from back then was by boat. By boat. And when those those dogs beg to differ. On account of bad weather or bad driving or the feds suddenly showing up, walk everything from diamond necklaces to full bottles of illegal booze sank to the bottom of the lake. <laughs> and a couple feds. Just a couple of feds <laughs> with them, yeah. So it's finders keepers. Find huh? an eighty-year-old bottle right. of like Kanye. That'd be pretty sweet. From the lake that would be. Is illegal, according to Squeaky Wheel Acres. Dragging Squeaky. the lake for artifacts was upsetting its delicate eco balance <laughs> so thanks mostly to his constant squawking the state banned it ah uh, how would that even yeah squeaky wheel acres jeff acres local park ranger i keep telling him <laughs> local park ranger and asshole sure but does that snobby little stickler for rules believe me Bastard always wants to follow the rules and such. Sounds like you aren't real fond of Ranger Acres. No one is. No well, one's Jeff fond Acres of anybody. Nobody's fond of anybody. Regulations and take a flying leap. Now I got nothing against getting more customers in here, mind you, but I kind of like Moonlight the way it is. Small, quiet, out of the way. But Jeff Acres. I think I see some movies back there that were released the in the Royal Palladium. Yes. Like Neo. Neo. Why would he want that? Look at those stock fishing photos. <laughs> like, look at that. That looks like Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> so if the park got way bigger and was crawling with tourists, why instead of giving out so that's why one he ticket wants for litter tons of every people. two days, he'd be giving out one dozen tickets every two hours. Now he just he'd wants to ticket more heaven. people. Well, hey, Pretty much. And I think he gets an assistant, he says later, if there's more truly. people. I need Excellent. to buy something. You want it? Sounds like you questioned that. As long as you pay cash, that is. I don't know, cash. That, that's just I can it. pay you in photos of birds. <laughs> I got these buttons. <laughs> I got these magic like beans. <laughs> My daddy always said, neither a borrower nor a lender be. But I'll tell you what. I got this hammer and nails. You can always use that. <laughs> just trying to hawk all your shit. Get like three shillings. What is it you need? Do you sell sandpaper by any chance? I do, but Mr. Birdbrain was in last Why does he want so much sandpaper? Said he was tired of that observation oh. He's sanding <laughs> the entire <laughs> observation <laughs> thing. He was sanding his bum. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you walk up there and he's sanding his ass cheek. You're like, what are you doing? And he's like, he's like, I'm getting splinters in my ass all the These time. Splinters it's in like, my I don't ass. think you're he's doing your that own. right. <laughs> Those splinters in my ass are pretty rough. My, I gotta sand them. Sand them down. Small. Sand the splinters. Uh, <laughs> gross. So you can look around the shop, I guess, a little bit if you want. This place is a dump. Yeah, it really is. I think I said, uh, I, like I said, I think someone, I could see someone taking a wrong step and falling through the floor because this thing is, it Dude, is in do it bad anywhere. shape. It's worse than the cabin almost. By a piece of the past, 80 years ago, Moonlake was crawling with gangsters, flappers, and jazz musicians from the big city. Who's to say it's still not? They traveled to and from parties by boat and were so rich that even if they accidentally dropped something in the lake, they wouldn't even bother going after it. Well, Each item lake. you see here is fished by legal means out of Moon Lake <laughs> and most likely belongs to someone <laughs> I like how by legal shot. means it's yeah, just taped, just taped on. Yeah, don't go home without buying at least one genuine artifact from the Roaring Twenties. I bet you it's just like rocks. Nah, it's plates and bottles and shit. I guess. I should buy bottles at Walmart. Was Pennsylvania a big gangster hideout? In the twenties? I doubt it. Like Chicago, I know Howdy, was, Nancy. but Philadelphia? You uh, betcha. Uh, it was more uh, border areas, I think. Maybe Detroit? New York? Yeah, New York I could see. <laughs> Philadelphia, I don't know. I guess Philadelphia is kind of. Philadelphia close would have been. Yeah. But how close is Philadelphia to this place? 
Yeah, this is in Pennsylvania, so... Like, yeah, but Pennsylvania's pretty big. Pittsburgh. Well, well, Sally said she drove to her aunt's in Philadelphia, so I would imagine it, it's within driving distance. Pittsburgh's got a lot of steel industry. I've, so... They probably don't have much to do with um, gangsters. I don't know. I would imagine it's probably maybe a two, three-hour drive to Philadelphia from here. I'm I just don't even remember what I got now. You got a cassette player. From do I get it? Oh, and the water testing thing, too. Right, right. I can do it. Yeah, you got it. Now. Ah, gloves. Yes. I was wondering where you were going to find those. There's no water. I gotta go get that well pumped. I gotta go, I gotta go prime, prime the pump. Ugh. <laughs> Wrong door. Doesn't matter. You could go around the cabin like this. Oh. This. You poured it in there. Now you ah, to pump it. terrific. Yeah, I'm fully rendered water. <laughs> water for everyone. You got her working. Let's see that water flowing again. Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah. That made it all worth it. In fact, that was so worth it, I'm going to leave a note about that in my book. Look at that water. Good quality water. I wonder how that would taste. I'm gonna test the shit out of this water. It's still not running. Yeah, I know, because you're not hooked up to it. What do you? Well, she disconnected all the pipes. Cause oh, I got. I gotta go it. test it out there. No, you don't have to do anything more with the water. It's I gotta fine. test it. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> I guess. So yeah, I forgot that you. Had I went to back to the sink to test it. No, you gotta test it at the pump. I think you gotta put water in the bucket. I think first. Oh, I think you okay. gotta put the bucket down and then fill it up and dump the thing in there. Oh, it's all over the ground. Oh, oh there's paw prints over there too. If you look. I need a bucket. There's Do some you? paw prints going this way. So. Whoa. Yeah. Ghost dogs don't leave footprints. This is this is one groovy mystery. <sighs> Let's go, gang. Let's figure it out. Mm -hmm. Don't pick I don't it up. need water right now. God damn it, you just poured it all out. Just, oh no! Just dunk the thing in the bucket. That's it. <laughs> oh, uh, I the bucket. oh, Nancy, trying to figure out the water pumps. <laughs> well, she didn't have to dump the water. What an idiot. It's like, I don't need this, but actually I do. Uh, no, don't pick it up. Just put it in the bucket. Get that water test to figure there. There you go, excellent. So you gotta take. I don't need water right now. Now where do I take this? You gotta take it back to the ranger station. God damn it. So we can be like, ah, your water's drinkable, or ah, your water's. Like, I hope they're lost. reimbursing me for the gas. I'd be scared to think of what Bigger's water would be tested like. What do you think? I think Marv Evans knows what's up. <laughs> I think it'd be so gross. I've got a lot of iron in it. But I think you can taste that. the iron in it. It's disgusting. Yeah, Thank God I don't build up. drink water from the tap. It's good quality water. It's not. It's terrific. Like Saskatoon's is gross, but at least it's oh, drinkable. No, no. It's, Saskatoon's is worse. And if anyone is wondering where that, the hell those places are, <laughs> look them up on a map. That's where we're... That's where we uh, <laughs> I should just dump this in his face and see oh, if he gets dysentery dog. from it. That water sample. What do I do with it? <laughs> Tell me if you get diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it in his face. You come back. <laughs> He's just on the shitter. How is that, that water? water? was horrible. <laughs> it's good to drink. All right, thank you. Thanks for all your help. Yeah. No or like there's just a pile of vomit in the corner, and he's like, <laughs> yeah. "Hey, you check out his dog first. His dog. His dog. He's got yeah. a dog. He's by his desk. Oh, I know he's gone. You missed him. Where? Oh, there he is." He, like, disappeared for a second, and then he came back. It was weird. Yogi. He's an old unit. He, he does look really old, but he's, he's still pretty cute. Like, yeah. He does the same thing every time. Yep. You're back. <laughs> Have you noticed there's a dog oh, next to you? <laughs> That's Yogi. It's a rat. Who never goes Where's Boo-Boo? 
park rules. Just th thought you'd throw a nice rule in there. Nice moral of the story. I couldn't help but notice that he's about the same size as those ghost dogs were. I couldn't I help but notice that you seem to be an asshole. To run in the of the night <laughs> and His eyes aren't glowing, though. I am suggesting that, Acres. Thanks what are you going to do about help. it? <laughs> what are you going to do, arrest me? Am I in violation of some rule? He's suggesting it. <laughs> I'll give you a ticket this time. I'll give you a round bunk I don't even know where I was going with that. When did you want to stop? It's 12 Whenever. Whenever is good. This is uh, good. We've been at it for almost an hour. Yeah, I, I think it's I a good place to stop. To, yeah. You got the introduction done. Introduction to the game. So I'm gonna get in the house. Sure. <laughs> 